On July 9th of 2022, Melvina Moore had been waiting for her husband's usual phone call at around 11.30 p.m. Venice, a man of routine, had been out on his nightly walk, a time during which he would call his wife and chat with her religiously, which indicated just how strong the couple's bond really was. Since she had been working overtime on this night, Melvina was quite exhausted, but this wasn't going to stop her from her nightly phone call with Dennis. As Melvina waited for her husband's call that night, she quickly became concerned as time went on, as no call or sign of Dennis presented itself. As Melvina informed the authorities of his absence, little did she know that her husband's lifeless body was laying in an alley and surrounded by multiple pit bulls not far away from home. A suspected dog attack leaves a man dead. Back at the house, police have now arrived, and Melvina quickly informs them of the route that Dennis typically takes on his nightly walks. It's now Sunday morning, and with no call from the police, Melvina tries another call to Dennis's cell phone, but instead of her husband, it was the police that answered the call. This instantly alerts Melvina that something terrible has happened to Dennis. Police breaking the gruesome news to his wife. Despite her demands for specifics, the police would not tell her what happened over the phone. It wasn't until hours later that the mother of seven found out the bone-chilling details of her husband's death. When the dolls ate him, ate him up to a point where his body was decayed, they can't show me his body. They can only show me, they didn't eat his head up. We don't want you to remember these wounds. And we don't, need, we don't even want to tell you how many times he was bitten. The father of three and loving stepfather of seven had made it about two blocks from his home. It was then that he was surrounded by multiple pit bulls and thereafter mercilessly torn apart by them in a frenzied attack. According to an investigation conducted by the St. Louis police thereafter, reports had indicated that Dennis was likely eaten alive. During Dennis's autopsy, a medical examiner had revealed that Dennis suffered from heart disease and most likely died from shock as a result of the attack. The examiner also mentioned that most of the wounds that had been inflicted on Dennis's body occurred after his heart had stopped. To add on to the horror of this incident, investigators that had discovered Dennis's body had in fact found a second victim, a 92-year-old man who suffered significant bites from several dogs who also attacked him in the very same alley. St. Louis Animal Control has seized three dogs suspected of being involved in the attacks. Animal Control thereafter additionally matched descriptions of several dog bites in the area, indicating that these were almost certainly the culprits that eventually took the life of Dennis Moore and injured another. As a result of the attack and the loss of her husband, Malvina was forced to raise money for Dennis's funeral. This has taken a huge toll on her mentally and emotionally, not to mention the tragic death of Dennis, and specifically the nature of it, will continue to haunt her for years to come. If you're ever unfortunate enough to find yourself in a situation where you're being attacked or confronted by an attacking pit bull, it's important to resist the impulse to scream and to run away. Remain motionless with your hands at your sides and avoid eye contact with a dog as this may be seen as a challenge. Once the dog loses interest in you, slowly back away until it's out of sight. If the dog does attack, feed it your jacket, purse, bicycle, or anything you can to put between yourself and the dog. If you do fall or are knocked to the ground, curl into a ball with your hands over your ears and remain motionless. Also make sure that you try not to scream or roll around. As for owners of pit bulls, here are also a couple of key responsibilities to keep in mind to ensure that your dog is not just physically, but emotionally healthy as well. If you want to be a responsible pit bull owner, it's important that you take the following steps. Spay or neuter your dog. Vaccinate your dog. Take at-risk dogs to trainers. Socialize your dog. Train your dog. Teach your dog how to behave. And finally, keep your dog away from stressful situations. Humans are not the only species that react negatively to stress.